What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Serenity, for PearlsandBirds.com. And of course, I would like to bring you the freshest and newest artists and people who are also into activism and who are active in the community. So, today, I have an artist that we've been trying to get on for <laughs> how long now? It's been a long time. <laughs> it's been a long time. Can you look? Thank you. Okay. I'm about, glad to Thank you. Okay. I'm about, glad to be here. That's what's up. So it's Ken, like your name is, you had a couple different names. So is Kenya your actual name? Yeah, so Kenya is my actual name. That's that's what I was born with. But uh, in high school, I guess like sports teams and stuff, people started calling me Yada and then it became, no, my bad. It was Yaya and then Yata and then Kenyatta. Okay. And I just kept Kenyatta because oh. I liked it. But, what sports uh, were you into? Um, I played baseball football and wrestling in, oh, wow. in high school yeah i ran track but not for the school oh yeah. okay so yeah. how you go from being a track star <laughs> and being football like all of that to music you know usually most people they don't cross indulge um i don't know i've i've always done music though my mom was the choir director at our church and uh, the youth choir director so I didn't really have a choice but to sing in the choir. Um, but that was like my introduction to it all. And pretty soon like I was singing solos and then she would um, just get like, I don't know, different Christian events for me to go sing at as a kid. So uh, it was, it was, it's interesting though. I would do like, I would have a go to a baseball game mm -hmm. and it'd be a tournament. And we'd have a, like a two or three hour break before our next game. So I'd play that game, go to a, a church or whatever to sing, oh, and then go back to back. the game. Yeah, it was weird. I had a lot of uh, what are they called? Uh, wet wipe baths. Somebody that inspired you musically? Mm. Definitely, um, I would say, I don't know, it's, it's a wide variety of people, and I know like an hour from now I'm gonna be mad because I <laughs> forgot to mention some people. I'm but, uh, Prince. Obviously. Prince? Like, okay. Because in some ways you kind of mm. remind me of him a little bit. Well, I, I definitely love Prince, but I don't, I don't, we didn't grow up on him in my house. Um, I think it was more of Michael Jackson. I know, like, during their prime, they had, you know, they were going back and forth for, like, you know, the top artists or whatever. Right. But, uh, I don't know. I would say definitely people like um, John Legend, Frank Ocean, John Mayer. Oh, uh, I can see John Mayer. John Mayer? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He'd be like a black John Mayer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that title's already taken in KC, so. Oh, it is? No, <laughs> so good. Though. But I appreciate that, though. Um, John Mayer is definitely somebody that I look up to. I think um, his song, Slow Dancing in the Burning Room, that was my introduction to him. And then I started uh, just, I didn't really do research on him, but I just started listening more to his music and everything. Um, but we listened to a lot of Aretha Franklin, James Brown. That was like, those are like the Saturday mornings where you wake up and your parents are playing that music and you know it's time to clean up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I, every time we have the windows open and uh, that music is playing, I know it's time to clean up. So, so how did you eventually make the transition from doing gospel to R&B? Um, and how, how did your mom feel about that? <laughs> you know that switch, make that switch. Yeah, so I feel like I didn't really start doing my own music until college. And so um, at that point, 
you know, I was off by myself living, living alone and I got to um, come across a lot of very inspiring people. And I think I gravitated more to their personality rather than their music ability. But um, anyways, they were they were Christian guys, but they always encouraged me to just be myself. And as long as what I'm doing is still, um, I don't know, as long as I'm just true to myself, okay. everything will be fine. So I did, and I try to keep it, I try to keep my music clean. Um, but I do realize that, like, to yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I definitely, my God is 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 a big part of my life. Um, but there's always the question, like, married people got to make love too. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, that's true. So I don't know. Um, I think like yeah in college that's when I grew into my own um, I went to college for um, pre-med oh, okay. but I don't think that was what I wanted to do I think that's what other people wanted me to do mm-hmm. so when I think it got to be like my junior year when I finally realized that music was where I want to focus uh, put all my attention towards uh, for a long time I wanted to work with kids and so um, I felt like music therapy was a good a good route for me um, but yeah my mom always told me um, that I should go like play in hospitals for kids like yeah. children's mercy and stuff mm-hmm. and so I've been kind of looking at, into that um, I've been talking to a couple people about it but uh, I don't know we'll see where that goes um, as far as the falsetto goes, I don't know why I started singing the falsetto, but it, it, <laughs> it didn't start until like probably my senior year in high school. Um, I started just singing the falsetto. I guess I guess because it's, it's easier. It takes less effort. Because uh, um, really? you're using less... You're using... Like the air's coming out faster, but it's a smaller amount. So oh, okay. it just it just takes less to, to sing in falsetto. So I think I was just being lazy. And at first, my mom was like, I don't, I think I like your chest voice better than your falsetto. But I just kept doing it for some reason. And um, I guess I got better I, at I it. I mean, I like it because it's, you know, lots of people singing it that True, true. So, and then also give you that range to do different types of songs. Right. Thank so. you. I appreciate that. It's, um, it, it definitely does make um, singing different songs a lot easier. Um, I used to have trouble with like, I don't know, like if uh, the choir director would give me a song, I would have trouble with with it not being in my range. But then once I started, you know, experimenting with falsetto, it was like that wasn't as much of a problem anymore to me. Um, I think like now it's just the trick going from back and forth between my chest voice, head voice, and, and falsetto. Because... Um, you know, a lot of singers do that, but it's really hard to get the transition down smoothly. Mm-hmm. You know, Bell. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. I'm still working on that. If you could collaborate with any artist that's out now or dead, who would it be? Mm, that's I think a good question. Like PR, like, you, you and her do a song <laughs> together? That would be so dope. That would be. That would be. Um, I think that would be really cool, actually. I feel like um, our sounds would mesh well. Mm-hmm. Um, I think if I had like if I had a producer, my recorded music would sound somewhat close to hers. I don't think it would be. I don't think it would be spot on. You know the same thing, but uh, you right? Have a similar style. Yeah, uh, I I definitely think. Uh, like that's that's one of my favorite artists right now. So oh, okay. yeah, I think that's a good choice. <laughs> like, you know that, right? <laughs> yeah, she's dope. She's dope. Anybody else? Um, what about hip hop wise? Have you thought about bringing hip hop into your sound a little bit? Not, not really. Um, the only time I have, and well, you talking about when you mix and drink? No, no, no. Oh. So like, do you mean like? You mean as far as rapping? 
me rapping or no, just no, collaborating no, with other rappers? Like, you thought about rapping? No, no, oh. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. No, <laughs> but I do think like if you write your own songs, I think everybody has that little. It's like it's a, it's a little piece of you that wants to rap. But... Brandy was rapping a little bit. Yeah, I don't think. No, for real. Like she, she, I don't she think that's on like social media a little bit. She did have like a couple rap because she was saying she wanted to rap. So did she get a good response from it? I don't know. She never came out with like a rap song. Okay, but she was saying she wanted to do some rap and she and like she had little clips that oh, okay. she put out on the internet. But other than that, I didn't. Yeah, see. yeah. If I I feel like if you write. You have a little piece in you that feels like you can rap, but I think I don't know. I think I'm gonna stick to what you know, what I know <laughs> I'm good at. But usually, whenever, whenever I consider a rapper being in my music, mm-hmm. uh, it's usually like a friend. It's never really. You never thought of anybody. Like, yeah. Because my music, I don't, I don't. I feel like my music isn't really hip hop, but it would be interesting to have a rapper over it. Well, I mean, like with R&B artists, I'm the freaking, you know. That's true. Hip hop artist, that's all I'm saying. Have you ever thought of doing something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm definitely open to it. I'm always open to trying new things with the music. Um, because you know, John. Yeah. Like he has his little kids kickback. Yeah, yeah, and that's always cool. Like. Yeah. I don't know. We we've, we've done it like four or five times where no more than that we've done it quite a few times where i would be John playing John Lewis, poet. Hypocrisy. <laughs> hypocrisy. cold man cold um oh well, shout out to them they got first place in uh well they got fifth place yeah oh they got fifth place okay okay but yeah shout out to them congratulations um but yeah we've done it several times where you know i'll play a song and he'll just you know we just feed off each other and go going back and forth um but yeah, I'm open to trying new things all the time. Yeah. So you talked about songwriting, so you write your own songs. Just make sure we get that clear, because <laughs> you know a lot of singers they have people that write for them. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. how what what do you say inspired you to write a song? Um, do it usually like something happens and you write something, or do you like are you one of those people that sit down and I'm me being like a poet? Mm-hmm. Sometimes I literally carve out time to sit down and write right. something. Or, but the best thing that I feel is like when something happens, it's inspiring. Right? I think I have trouble with that. Oh, I think yeah. I have trouble writing about um, actual events that happen to me. Oh. Most of the stuff that I write is more of like, I don't know, there's like a movie playing in my head that I'm just making up and I uh-huh. write about that. But I have been trying to work on trying to write something that's more personal to me so that it can be relatable to others. Um, So, yeah, it's, I don't know, that's hard. I've always wanted to write something so that other people will know exactly what's going on in my life in regards to whatever it is. Um, But I just haven't gotten that down yet. So, uh, you just came out of the project. Tell us a little bit about that project. So... The project is called uh, Collection Two. Okay. Uh, Collection One was the first piece that I put together, project that I put together. Um, my friend Daryl Chisholm helped me with that. Um, but so I, Collection One, and then I had uh, December twenty sixth that came out in two, 2016. and that was my first project doing something almost almost entirely by myself. Um, just trying to like you said just trying to find my sound um and i think that helped me gravitate more towards um like just an acoustic simple vibe you know what i'm saying not too like overproduced um but now so this new project collection two um i just released one um one video for one of the songs it's called cocoa butter yeah and and, uh, and then, who did that video? I did. I did. Oh, you, you did all that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was um, it was definitely a challenge, but uh, I don't know. It's 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 kind of hard to get other people on board sometimes, you know. Oh, I definitely understand. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just like, hey, I'm gonna do what I can with what I got, and 
just make it the best that I can. So, so you have a few different shows coming up. Mm. Uh, let's talk about the shows, okay? You're going to be in Usher Confections. Um, the anniversary of that, what's the, what's the year? 15 years since it been? Uh, uh, year anniversary? I think yeah. maybe, maybe. Yeah. So, 10 or 15. Can you give us like a sneak preview of what songs you're going to sing? Or is it like top secret? Like what's, what's up with that? I wouldn't say it's top secret, but I'm, I would encourage you just to come. So okay. that you can see. <laughs> And you're also doing uh, a show called The One. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm excited. So, what can we look forward to when you perform at The One? Um, so, at The One, I'll be doing an acoustic set. Um, those are my favorites um, acoustic and kind of intimate. Um, and I'll be doing all original music. Um, really, what I do is just go up there and vibe. Um, I try to give people a piece of what I do at home when I'm by myself. Um, it's kind of cliche to say, but like, you know, music is, it really is therapy to a lot of right brain people. And so when I'm at home and I'm sad, or maybe I'm not sad, I just feel like singing. Um, there's a certain flow that I get into and um, I just want to allow other people to, you know, experience that. So, a good little piece of that. I'm excited for it. I don't know, man. I would just say try everything. Be open-minded. And um, when you like something, stick to it. Like in sports, they say, you know, if, if you're shooting and you're making everything, keep shooting. If you're not making anything, keep shooting. Like... Just keep trying, don't give up, and just be open-minded because, you know, the longer you try, the more you try, the more likely you are to come across something that fits you. So, um, I think that's just, that's what happened to me. I love music. I just kept kept going, and I found something that fit me. Okay. So, so you're going to play a little bit for us, right? Yes. Okay. That's what's up. Yes, thank you. My name is Kenya Woods, and this is Searching. Tell me why you've been hiding from me. Why don't be scared? I'll only fight if you say please. Love is alien to you, but I come in peace. Peace is on the floor, peace for everything, my heart never been whole, so handle carefully, holes are in my heart, and I can't find the key, finally you are here. With me when I sleep Cause I've been looking above And searching for love Someone in my dreams In my dreams In my dreams I've been looking above And searching for love And someone in my dreams in my dreams Temporary highs Everything back to routine So below in size Single life not for me Have your time with him Then come straight to me 
I'll show you what love can do. Put you straight to sleep after we get lost. Underneath the sheets, covers feel like cotton candy clouds for carrots and cheese. Promise I won't be so poor if that's what you think. Don't leave me here alone, searching for you in agony. Yeah, yeah. I've been looking about and searching for love and someone in my dreams. In my dreams. In my dreams, I've been looking above and searching for love in someone. In my dreams, in my dreams, in my dreams, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I won't let you get away Got you in my sight Yeah, 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 yeah I won't let you get away Oh, 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 oh. Won't let you get away.